Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do the bobble heart crochet granny square. Now this kind of granny square is very commonly used to make a crochet blanket. So you can make a couple of these granny squares, stitch them up together and make into a lovely crochet blanket. Now I am planning to use this granny square as a pouch. So I have not made it, but I'm thinking of making it. And if it comes out well and, it's, and if it is worth sharing, I will upload a video of that also. So when it's uploaded, I'll update the links in the description box. So if you're interested, you can check that up as well. Now we'll quickly run through the supplies that you'd require. So for this granny square, I have used a 5mm or size edge crochet hook and I have used a medium 4 weight acrylic yarn or a worsted weight yarn. Now it is not necessary that you should use the same yarn and hook. You can use any yarn that you have at hand. Just make sure to use the recommended hook size for it. Apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors and a darning needle to weave in the ends. So these are the few supplies that you would require. Now before moving on to the tutorial, just a small request. If at any point in the video you like what you see, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. So let's start the tutorial. So to make this pattern here, we are going to start with a total number of 26 chain stitch. So here I have made a slip knot and made my 26 chain stitch. So once you have your 26 chain stitch, we'll start the first row. So to make the first row, what we'll do is we'll skip the very first chain stitch that is here and start working our single crochet. So into the second stitch, make a single crochet. So for a single crochet, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through both. So this is my first single crochet. Come to the next stitch, again make a single crochet. So like this, you just make one single crochet for your row one. And once you finish your row one, you'll have a total of 25 single crochet. So I'll make my 25 single crochet and meet you at the end of this row. Just place one single crochet in each of the chain stitches. So here I have finished my first row and it has 25 single crochet. Now what we'll do is we'll repeat three more rows of single crochet. So for row two, you have to chain one and then turn your work. And again, make one single crochet in each of these stitches. So this is my first single crochet. This is my second single crochet. Like that, in row 2, I'll again place one single crochet in each of these stitches. And I'll end up with a total of 25 single crochet. So that will be my row 2. I'll repeat the same thing for row 3 and row 4. So here I have made four rows of single crochet and each row has 25 single crochet. So this was my fourth row. I have chained one. Um, now I'm turning my work. Now we'll start with the fifth row. And in the fifth row, we are going to make our first bobble stitch. So for that, you have to place 12 single crochet first. So it was I had made chain one and I have turned my work and now I'm going to place 12 single crochet. So just place one single crochet in each of these stitches till you have 12 single crochet. So this was my third single crochet, fourth, fifth, like that you have to make 12. So this is my sixth single crochet, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12. So I have placed my 12 single crochet and in the next stitch I'm going to place my bobble stitch. So to make a bobble stitch we do just like we do our double crochet. So you yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Okay, you stop here, do not complete your double crochet. Again you yarn over insert your hook and pull up a loop you have four loops yarn over and pull through only the first two loops you stop here again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the first two loops you have to always pull through the first two loops and stop now you have four loops again you yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop 
and yarn over and pull through the only the first two. Now if you count you have a total of five loops on your hook. This is when you have to stop and you have to yarn over and pull your yarn through all the five loops here. So this here is your bobble stitch. Now continue making 12 single crochet in the rest of the stitches. So insert your hook into this stitch, next stitch and make your single crochet like this. And when you do that, you just push the bobble out. Okay. So if you just push it out, the bobble just pops out. So this is your first single crochet. Come to your next stitch and again make a single crochet like that. Just complete one row of single crochet. Sorry, not one row. The next 12 stitches, you have to place your single crochets. So I'll make my 12 single crochet till I reach the end of this row. So what we have done is the total 25 single crochet that we have made, we have divided into uh, 12 single crochet on the left side, 12 single crochet in the right side and in the center stitch we have made one bobble stitch. Okay, so that is how we have divided the 25 single crochet. Okay, so here I, this is my 12th single crochet. Okay, so here we have 12 single crochet. A bobble stitch and 12 single crochet so this completes our row 5 now every time you make a bobble stitch this should be followed with a single crochet row so you chain one and turn your work and in the next row just make one single crochet it's a normal single crochet so just make one row of single crochets here so this is how the pattern will work you will make one bobble stitch row and that will be followed with a normal single crochet row because uh, the bobble stitch should all face in one side. So the next stitch, next bobble stitch should again come on the front side. So for that we are making one row of single crochet. So a bobble stitch will be always followed with a normal single crochet row. So here you have made 12 single crochet. One single crochet on each of the single crochets of the previous row. Now here is your bobble stitch. So you can see that there is a longer stitch, long V kind of a thing, which together holds your bobble stitch. There you place your 13th single crochet and then continue making your next 12 single crochets. So once you finish this row, you will again end up with a total of 25 single crochet so just try to maintain this 25 single crochet in each of these rows so i'll just quickly finish this row and i'll have a total of 25 single crochets so this one this row is your row six and next row will be your bobble stitch row okay so this here is my last stitch okay after that chain one and then turn your work so for this row we are going to start with 10 single crochet so i'll make my 10 single crochet first one into the next stitch the second single crochet two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so here i have got my ten single crochet in the next stitch make your bobble stitch so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two so this is the first time i have inserted this is the second time i have inserted and i'll just pull only through the first two loops this is the third time i'm inserting and i'm going to pull it through the first two loops I'm yarning over, inserting my hook for the fourth and the last time. I've pulled up my loop. I'll insert it through the first two loops. Now, if you count, you have a total of five loops. When you have five loops, you stop. You yarn over and pull your yarn through all the five loops here. And this should be followed with single crochet. So make single crochet in the next three stitches. So come to the first stitch and make a single crochet like this. When you do that, just push this forwards. So this will pop out. So this here is my first single crochet. I'll make two more. So this is one. So this is my second single crochet. Two. 
another one three so here i have made three single crochets now this should be followed with a bobble stitch okay so here i'm going to make my bobble stitch i'll insert my hook four times this is the first time this is the second time and i'm going to pull only through the first two loops here this is the second time inserting this one is my third time and one more time sorry this is my fourth time and i'm just going to pull through the first two loops only now i have five loops i'll stop here i'll yarn over and pull through all these loops like this next in the next 10 stitches do your normal 10 single crochet so i'll just place my 10 single crochet i'll just push this out and then make my 10 single crochet so complete making 10 single crochet so for this round what we have done is we have made 10 single crochet it was followed with a bobble stitch after that we made three single crochet then we made a bobble stitch and in the last 10 stitches again we are making a single crochet so this will complete our row um, seven okay now this should be followed with a normal single crochet row so chain one and turn your work and just make one single crochet so i'll place one single crochet in each of these stitches and you'll have a total of 25 single crochet so i'll just make one row of single crochet and meet you at the end of this row so here i have finished my eighth row of single crochet which was a normal single crochet row we'll move on to our ninth row and here we are going to do a bobble stitch row so what we'll do is we will make the first eight stitches of single crochet so make single crochet in the first eight stitches so one two three four five six seven and one more eight so here we have eight single crochet now in the next stitch make your bobble stitch okay so to make a bobble stitch we have to insert our hook four times so this is the first time this is your second time this is your third time and one more fourth time so i have inserted my hook four times and i have a total of five loops on my hook i'm going to yarn over and pull it out like this now this should be followed by seven single crochet so in the next seven stitches make one single crochet each so here is my first single crochet like this and i'll push this out okay so one two next one a single crochet three four five six and seven so here we have got a seven single crochet in the next stitch make your bobble stitch okay so this is my second bobble stitch for this row so i have to pull it out four times or till you have five loops on your hook that is how you do the bobble stitch i have five loops i'll stop here and finish my bobble stitch now this should be followed with eight single crochet and so in the last eight stitches make one single crochet each so i'll just make one single crochet in the last eight stitches okay so this is how you do your row nine now this row should be followed with a normal single crochet row so i'll just finish my row 9 and row 10 which is a normal single crochet row and i'll meet you once i am finished with my row 10 okay so finish this row and make your next row of single crochets okay so here i have finished my row 10 also which was a normal single crochet row now you can see that it is forming now we'll move on to a row 11 so for row 11 you have to start with six single crochet so make six single crochet one two three four five 
and 6. So you start with 6 single crochet and after that make your first bobble stitch. So to make a bobble stitch just like we did earlier we have to yarn over 4 times. So this is my second time. This here is my third time. Last time. 4 times I have yarned over and I will have a total of 5 loops. So yarn over and pull your yarn through all these loops here. Okay. So this here is your bobble stitch. You will be able to complete your bobble stitch only when you put the next single crochet. Then only you can pop that out. So this should be followed with 11 single crochet. Okay. So this here is your bobble stitch. After that make 11 single crochet. So this here is your first single crochet. And you just push this out. So this was one. Like that make 10 more. You should have a total of 11. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and one more 11. So here we have got our 11 single crochet and then make your bobble stitch. So in the next stitch I am going to make my bobble stitch. So this is the first time I am pulling out. This is my second time. This is the third time. You have to pull it out only through the first two loops and this here sorry and this here is the fourth time. Just pull it through the first two loops. You have five loops. Yarn over and then pull through all these loops. Now you have six uh, stitches left. In the rest six stitches make your single crochet. So this is one, two, three, four, five and six. So you complete your six single crochet. Chain one, turn your work and make a normal single crochet row. So chain one, turn your work and place your single crochets. So you will have 25 single crochet. I will make my 25 single crochet and meet you at the end of that row. Okay. So here I have finished my 12th row. We will move on to our 13th row. So for 13th row you start with 5 single crochet this time. So make your 5 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4 and last one 5. So here I have got my 5 single crochet. In the next stitch make your bobble stitch. So in the 6th stitch we are placing the bobble. So this is the second time that I am pulling out. This is the third time and one more fourth time. Alright, we have 5 loops, yarn over, pull through all the 5 loops and this should be followed with 13 single crochet. So once you have your bobble stitch, make 13 single crochet. This is your 1, push this out, okay. So this is 1, I will make 12 more, you have to make 13. So this is 2, So here we have got our 13 single crochet. Now this should be followed with a bobble stitch. So in the next stitch make your bobble stitch. So once this is my second time, this is my third time and one last time, fourth time. Just pull through first two and then pull through all the five. Okay, so this here is your bobble stitch and then make one single crochet in the last five stitches. So this here is my one, two, three, four and one more five. Now after this make one row of single crochet, a normal single crochet row. Okay, so this completes this row. Chain one, turn your work and make your single crochet. So I'll just make one more row of single crochet and then show you how to do the next row. So here I have finished my row 14 which was a normal single crochet row. Now for row 15 we are just going to repeat what we did in row 13. So we are going to repeat row 13 just like that for our next row. 
So what we'll do is we'll first make five single crochet, then make a bobble stitch, then 13 single crochet, a bobble stitch and five single crochet. So I'll just repeat row 15 just as we did row 13. So row 13 and row 15 are the same. I'll repeat the row 13 once which will be my row 15 which will be followed by a normal single crochet row. So I'll just make row 15 and row 16 which is nothing but a repeat of 13 and 14. So I'll finish those two rows and meet you once I am at the end of row 16. So here I have finished my row 15th and 16th which was nothing but the repeat of row 13 and 14. Now we'll move on to our row 17. Now this was the lower part of your heart. Now we'll curve it up. Okay. So for that we'll start our row 17. For that we are going to make 5 single crochet. So we'll start off with 5 single crochet. 1. This is my 2nd single crochet. 3rd single crochet. 4 and 5 so I have made 5 single crochet in the next stitch make your bobble so once I have pulled it out this is my second time again one more this is my third time one last time fourth time okay I have 5 loops yarn over and pull through all the loops here now once you have your bobble stitch, make single crochet in the next 6 stitches. So in the next 6 stitches, make your single crochet. So this one is your first single crochet. Just push this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1 more 6. So here I have got my 6 single crochet. In the next stitch, make your bobble stitch. So this here is a bobble stitch, 1, this is my second time, 2, again, 3, and one last time, 4. So I have pulled my yarn 4 times and then I am going to pull it through all these loops, okay. Now this should be again followed with 6 single crochet. So again make 6 single crochet once you make this bobble stitch. I am just going to push this forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So here I have got my 6 single crochet. After that, make one more bobble stitch. So in this stitch, I'm going to make a bobble stitch. So this is my second time that I'm pulling. Again, third time and fourth time. So this will complete my bobbles. And I'm going to pull through all these stitches. Next, you have to make 5 single crochet. So in the last 5 stitches, make 1 single crochet. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this completes our row 70 and this is what it is. So we have 3 bobble stitches for this row. Now for row 18, it is a normal single crochet row. So chain 1. Turn your work and make one single crochet row and we will then move on to row 19. So I'll just make one single crochet row and meet you at the end of row 18. So here I have finished my row 17th and 18th and now we'll move on to our row 19. So to make the row 19 we will start with 6 single crochet. So make one single crochet in the first 6 stitches. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1 more 6. So here we have got 6 single crochet. Now in the next stitch make your bobble stitch. So here I am going to make my bobble stitch. So this is the second time that I am inserting and pulling out. The third time. Okay and 1 more time. Fourth time. So once you pull it out four times, just yarn over and pull through all the five loops like this. Now once you have your bobble stitch, you have to make three single crochet. So make three single crochet. 
so this is one two and three so here i've got my three single crochet in the next stitch again make a bobble so i'm going to place a bobble stitch here so this is the second bobble stitch of this row okay so here i am at the end of my bobble stitch okay once you have your second bobble stitch again make three single crochet so one two and three so if you see i have not pushed this out so do not forget to push this out only then it will just pop out so here i have again made three single crochet again make a bobble stitch so in this row we are going to make four bobble stitches okay so this is my third bobble stitch of this row okay and finish this off once you have this bobble stitch again make three single crochet so this is my first single crochet two and three so i have got my three single crochets here next make your bobble stitch so here i'm again making my bobble stitch so this is the third time that i'm pulling out this is my fourth time that i'm pulling out and pull through all these stitches here okay now this should be followed with six single crochet so in the next six stitches make one single crochet each so this is one two three four five and six so this completes a row 19 row 20 is a normal single crochet row so i'll make a normal single crochet row for my row 20 and meet you at the end of row 20 so here i have finished my row 20 we will move on to row 21 this is the last bobble stitch row so for this we are going to start with eight single crochet so make eight single crochet so i'll just chain one and then turn my work and make eight single crochet so this is the very last stitch or very last row of bobble stitch with this we can end this so this is my two single crochet three four five six seven okay seven and one more eight so here i have got my eight single crochet now this should be followed with a bobble stitch so we are going to make a bobble stitch so in the next stitch make your bobble stitch this is the second time it is coming out this is the third time one last time fourth time and then pull your yarn through all these so once you have your bobble stitch make seven single crochet so this is one pop this out one next two three four five six and seven so here we have a seven single crochet now this should be followed with a bobble stitch so make a bobble stitch in this stitch after making your seven single crochet you are placing a bobble stitch here like so now pull through everything you have eight stitches left and in the last eight stitches make one single crochet each so place eight single crochet till you reach the end of this row so once you have that you chain one and turn your work and that should be followed by four single crochet rows we had started with four single crochet rows so we are ending also with four single crochet rows so here i have placed eight single crochet chain one turn your work and then make four more single crochet rows so if you see our hat pattern is almost done so in order to have the symmetry 
I'm again going to make four more rows of single crochet. So this is how our heart so far looks. I'll just complete it and show you how this finally looks. Okay, so here I have finished my last four rows of single crochet also. And this is how our crochet bobble heart granny square looks like. Now you can use a couple of these and stitch them up together into a blanket but I'm going to use this into a pouch and as I've said earlier if it comes out well I will put the link in the description box for that particular video as well so if you're interested you can check that out. So this was the tutorial I hope you liked it. Now if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing. That's all for this video. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.